what's up, guys? What's up? Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Are you sleepy? No, no. Just resting my eyes. Okay, so I just want to see what does this new show intro look like? I'm stoked about this. It's hot. It's well, hot, right? We've, yeah. we've been working on it for okay. a couple weeks. Okay. We'll, we'll see what you guys got. See, I, I like what you did there. Yeah. I mean, it looks good, but look, rose gold's like the hotness. Even your shirt. Your shirt's rose gold, dude. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, uh, you guys think we can just add some rose gold in there? Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Rose, rose gold, gold, everybody? Rose yeah. gold. Okay. Rose gold. Okay. Rose gold. Rose gold. All right. Rose gold. All right. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> What's happening? Brian Tong here, and welcome to the all new Apple Bite for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. It's a brand new look with a brand new feel that's so fresh and so clean. Mm. Plus, that intro, rose gold. All right, let's get to the show, and it's official. Apple's WWDC keynote will take place on Monday, June the 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific time after official invites were sent to the press this week. That's just under two weeks away, and you know we expect to see something special this year, like new MacBook Pro rumors, which are on fire, and this time, it's Cult of Mac with leaked photos of what's claimed to be the next MacBook Pro that features a space for the rumored OLED touch bar above the keyboard. The photos also suggest that almost all the connectors will be replaced by USB-C ports with two on each side and a hole that appears to be a headphone jack. See, Apple's not getting rid of the headphone jack on everything. Now, the pictures don't indicate how much slimmer, if any, the new MacBook Pro body is, but reports have pointed to a release in the fourth quarter of this year. Now, WWDC 2016 needs something to get our attention beyond software updates, and hopefully, we'll hear more about the new machine. Now, in tech that we hope to see in Apple's hardware, Samsung recently announced a 512 gig non-volatile memory express solid state drive that combines all the components into something smaller than the size of a US postage stamp. It's designed for next-gen PCs and ultra-slim notebooks, and capacities start at 128, 256, and 512 gigs. Apple has used Samsung solid-state drives in the past, so they could bring this to MacBooks and more in the future, but nothing has been confirmed with the drives being so new. Also, Intel has announced its next-gen Cabby Lake processors that are on track to release by late 2016. Advancements over Skylake in performance, battery life, and media capabilities come to the 7th-gen Intel Core processor. The belief was that Skylake would be dropped into the next line of MacBook Pros, but now, based on rumors and timing, Cabby Lake could go directly into the refresh lineup. If not, you can't imagine users being happy about getting a processor that's already out of date a month or two later for flagship Apple machine. Give us Cabby Lake, Apple. Also, what else could we see at WWDC? How about a refreshed Apple Thunderbolt 5K display with a GPU inside? Now, reports say inventory has been unavailable or limited in multiple stores around the world, and the timing would be right. Current Apple machines and even the rumored MacBook Pro are unable to run a 5K signal over a single stream cable, which could potentially mean a built-in graphics card in the new display would be able to work with almost any Mac because it would be driven by its own internal graphics card. So we will see what WWDC brings. Now, I'm also a huge fan of the Amazon Echo Smart Assistant and Google's now going for their own with the Google Home. But what about Apple? A CNET report says Apple has explored putting a camera in their rumored Amazon Echo-like rival device that would be self-aware and detect who is in the room by using facial recognition technology. The device would be able to instantly pull up a person's preferences, such as music and lighting that they like. Well, you know I like the lights dim and dark with some of that R&B. Now the report says hardware could be released by year's end, but it's more likely to be available in 2017. Apple could still change its plans to include a camera or even scrap the device entirely, but you don't want to be the third player in a market, and that's what it feels like right now. And finally, iPhone news. You know we couldn't go a whole show without hearing something about that iPhone. A new report from Japanese outlet Nikkei says Apple will be moving to a three-year major iPhone cycle, claiming that the device will also bring a new vibration motor capable of producing more complex patterns than earlier iPhones. 
Now, it could be an evolved version of its current Taptic engine that produces different types of vibrations and feedback. I'm not sure what other complex vibrations could really do to enhance the use of my iPhone, but then again, don't knock it if you haven't tried it. And I know last week we talked about the potential of a new iPhone only bringing 16 gigs to start off, but a claim by an IHS technology analyst says supply chain research indicates the iPhone 7 will start with 32 gigs for the 199 base model. Hmm, okay, I will wait and see. But if you want the latest iPhone 7 leak, here's another from micro blogging site Weibo with the redesigned antenna lines, a space for the new single lens for the 4.7 inch model, and that rose gold color because you know rose gold. It's what everything should be now. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. You can email us at theapplebyte at CNET.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Tell us what you think of this brand new Apple Byte. And you know what? I will read some of your responses, both good and bad, because I could take it like a big boy. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another Bite of the Apple. Wait a sec. Are you seeing this? What is this? Hey, where's the rose gold, man? What the hell? Rose gold my ass. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah.